Number six with cheese, we're cruising northwest up to central Euros. Today's video brought to you by Stephen Carrington, a $30 a month patron here at Number Six with Cheese. When you do that, you get to pick where we go. He said, boys, go get some of the best Euros in the city. The spot's at the top of the list. So let's go check it out. A couple of Euro Sandos. Let's go. Shh. No. Pick up for Sean? Sean? Yeah. Yeah, perfect, man. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you. The fastest, most efficient pickup of all time. Shout out Central Euro. All right, Sixers, two Euros. Central Euro acquired jump cut. All right, I'm so excited. This is a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, very tightly rolled. I do want to point that out because it just blew my mind. I don't know why, but. Open it up, okay. This is where we get the dirty time. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, you're seeing the bread stuff. I forget what it's called. You're seeing Euro stuff. You're seeing tzatziki, you're seeing onions, and you're seeing tomatoes. About to throw those out the window. Like I said, I said before, I'll say it again. We got rats out here eating used condoms. You think they ain't gonna snag up a tomato? It's true. Get real, bro. You hit that guy! He shouldn't have been standing there. <laughs> it's another food that just like doesn't look great to shoot. No. Just tastes so good. Yeah. Also, holy garlic. Holy garlic. In a great way. Also, this is so tightly rolled. I want to say I have to agree with you. God, that is just efficient. Mm-hmm. And then real quick on this camera, just because I was using the phone before. Uh, if you don't know what a euro looks like, if you just gurgle, gurgle? If you gurgle euro, they all kind of look the same. True, true. This is probably my favorite Chicago food. And yes, it's a Chicago food. <laughs> All right, Euros, Central Euro. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Mm. That's good and tasty. Mm -hmm. Good tzatziki sauce. It's very good tzatziki sauce. That fluffy pillow bread is good. You know what's funny? They actually are doing something that I haven't seen in a bad way. I don't think I've ever ordered a Euro and not had the meat spilling out of it all over the thing. Like this is actually all staying in here. I just feel like they always over give you food, which like another, which is a good oh, thing. Oh yeah, you go look at our Yangos video. Oh, yeah. I get a whole extra sandwich or two out of the Yangos move. Mm -hmm. Best years in Chicago. Best year in Chicago. For 29 years. 29, wow. Yangos <laughs> better off. One of my favorite things in the world is opening a box of Yangos. Mm -hmm. Because look at that. And just so you get, I, here's the thing, in order to know the depth of this, you gotta start piling it off so you can see actually how much Euro they put on it. I mean, that's just, look at that. Really good though. Mm-hmm. Very good. They use all lamb too. A lot of places use a beef lamb combo. This is all lamb, and I love lamb. Mm-hmm. I love lamb. Mm, it's just such a solid lunch. Always. I will say though, as I expected, this is supposedly the best Euro spot. Mm -hmm. This isn't that much different than just about any other year I've gotten. I agree. I think Yango's is just as good, if not better. Yeah, I, I don't think that I would drive all the way out here just for this. Mm -mm. There's a Euro place on every other corner, like in Chicago. Like you you can throw a stone and hit a place that has good Euros. This was, I think like 11, 12 bucks. Is that quite a bit higher? Or is that about what they normally are? I feel like I can't remember what Yango's charges. I feel like that's about the same. Mm -hmm. But I think Yango's is coming with fries and double the meat. Yeah, I mean, yeah, damn good flavor, but mm -hmm. I was saying to Sean while we were driving here, with burgers, you have like those loyalists where they are leaps and bounds above everybody else. And I just don't think that there's Euros that are probably leaps and bounds better. Right. I, I really do love, I think I like Yango's a little bit better. They got more of that chard on a lot of the- It's crispier. Meat. Yeah, I agree I like. completely. I well, The first time you took me to Yango's, like 2016, we had it and just hung out. It's before we ever did number six with cheese. Just a couple of guys that like drinking, smoking, and playing video games. And now this dumb show dictates our lives. But no, um, you we took, and that blew me away. That was by far the best year I had had in Chicago. And I had lived here, what, three or four years before I met you. My cousin in Toledo, Brian, still talks about it to this day. When he came and visited, you got it with him? Well, I've got it with him the first time he came to visit, and he's asked for it every time we've come since, I believe. I believe it. Mm, 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 mm. But it's still very good, though. That's the thing, like, Euros are so amazing. I think they're my favorite food now. 
They're one up, dude. They're mm -hmm. so good. You, it's one of those things. So just like there's probably not any euros that are leaps and bounds better. Yeah. There's probably not euros that are leaps and bounds worse, even when they're using. Completely crab agree. They're just, it's just a good, dope, delicious little thing you can eat. I just love them so much. Like I've never had one I didn't like. A thing you can eat. Did I forget the word food? <laughs> You know, with, with the, the things that you put in your mouth, you chew, and then you swallow, and it gets you nutrients. What's, you the know, thing? What's, that thing? What's that thing I had earlier today? Yeah, I always have a great time when I'm eating a euro. God, it's just so good. Like, I don't want any of what we said to, like, overshadow how amazing that was. If you're on Central Avenue and anywhere near this place, my God, was that good. I just housed it in less than four minutes. What would bring you out here, you think? I don't think there's a lot of attractions out here. Coming out to use this parking garage? I don't know. Some of the cleanest alleys out here. All right, before we go ahead and rate the Central Euro, let's do a shout out. Merch out, merch out, merch out! Number6WCheese.com is our website. When you buy stuff off the site, you support the show. Look at this. No, stop it. That's a different shirt. Oh. I got our newest shirt on. It's really nice. Ripping box since 2016. It's a pizza box designed by amazing human Tim Lichty. Check out Conformity Farm on Instagram. When you support the show, we give you a shout out. If you buy the hot sauce subscription, believe it or not, we got our own hot sauce. If you buy that and it's getting delivered to you every month, you've heard this spiel. You get the fastest shout out possible, dude. So today, a couple of names. Merch shout out number one goes to Mr. Rich Moore. Woo uh, Rich, awesome supporter of the show. He's got the hot sauce subscription, so we're mailing him a bottle of hot sauce every single month. I hope you're enjoying it, Rich. We're sending those out too. Oh, shoot, dude. I didn't know Rich Moore lives on this street. He literally... No, no, no. On that street. He literally... I think he pretty much lives like a mile and a half from you. Yeah, dude. That is freaking crazy. I didn't know about them, even though he just supported us with a uh, third... He did the Patreon, like a $30 video, he, right? Yeah, and he picked where we ate. Tell him their, his address. <laughs> yeah, he wanted us to go to... Holy crap. That's crazy. Beat Kitchen. Beat Kitchen. Burger. We'll meet that guy's uh, avatar or profile pic, whichever one you decide to, I don't know if those are different things or not. I'm too old. I don't understand yeah, technology we're nowadays. Yeah, we're 30s. But I think he's got like a, a Patreon picture with, he's holding a DSLR camera. Oh. So I'm wondering, man. I'm like, bro, is he a dope dude who I should know? I know that he is because every, uh, before the weekend starts, he always says, I'm getting into some Malort this weekend. Oh, I respect that. That's a friend of mine. I respect that. Oh, my friend AJ threw up from Malort this weekend because Kylie kept challenging him with Game of Yahtzee. Yes! Shot him lord on the line and he had to do so much he threw up. <laughs> Merch shot at number two, Mr. Lewis Carollo. <laughs> New Fairfield, Connecticut. That's right. That's aren't, right. Aren't people from Connecticut just like pinkies up, they're rich and they have like they're real uppity? Ah, high finance. <laughs> Bulls, bears, people from Connecticut. I don't know, because that's pizza town too, man. They got the best pizza and pizza. Oh, New Haven. Uppity. It's an uppity. Uppity. It's, a, it's not an uppity thing, so I don't know. Yeah, he bought the hot sauce subscription, so he's dope and not uppity. Because ours is just mustard and ketchup and honey mixed together. <laughs> That's all it is. Wow, what an unappealing way to talk about it. Uh, number 6 cheesecom go to the website. Uh, buy anything off the site and you'll get a shout out. Buy more stuff, you'll get a quicker shout out. Buy the subscription, you get the fast shout out. Facts. How do you think my hair would look if I did it like this? I've always wanted to just, as a bit, Get like that. Can you see it? Oh, don't you think do I could pull that off? No, 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 no. You don't no, think no. so? Uh, I know, I know, I know for a fact, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> so now is the point of the show where we rate the food that we ate. Apparently, I forgot that it's only been 1,500 episodes or whatever the fuck. All right, out of five, I, when I think Central, being from Michigan, I think of the Chippewas. I think of Central Michigan University. Oh yeah, wow. So out of five CMU logos, how many CMU logos do you give the about 11, 12 bucks Central Euro here today on Central Avenue? Corey. Man, I'll tell you what, that was a, a delicious Euro. It was the tzatziki was absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. I, the the yeah. little. Pillow tortilla was amazing. It's a pita. Um, I call them pillow tortillas. Okay, I like that better. I, I still gotta say, I think Yango's is better. I think they give you more food, and I think that almost every Euro tastes like that, so I don't think it's as great as it's cracked up to be. I think it's like above average, but not as much as uh, people are saying, so I'm gonna give that still a healthy, still a hearty, still a delicious 3.25. Yeah, I'm pretty much with Corey entirely. I can't believe how similar that taste is to like every other Euro. Like I get Johnny's, not Johnny's in Elmwood Park. I get Johnny's in Lincoln Park. Um, that's always like the fastest out the door to my door delivery. It seriously shows up in like 14 minutes. Wow. And that tastes identical to that. That's what I assumed. I'm gonna go 3.75. Wow. Like. 
once again, that was incredible. But I just think the drop off, like Corey said, is not too large. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Let us know if you guys completely disagree with us and we're full of crap. Uh, oh, if we got Chicagoans watching this, they're gonna lose their- I'll probably get shanked on the L. Freaking losers. We'll see you guys yeah, tomorrow go, for a break. eat a hot dog with a big chunk of tomato <laughs> on it, you dumbass. Why don't you go butt chug some celery salt? Yeah, dude, why don't you go drink your soup pizza, you stupid idiot. <laughs> We've lived here 15 years combined. Um, tomorrow, where are we headed? Oh, tomorrow we're heading to Milt's Barbecue for the Perplexed. One of the greatest restaurant names of all time. You could be, I don't even, never heard of it, and I'm intrigued. <laughs> um, so yeah, come back tomorrow for the wildest name we've probably ever done this oh, show. Oh, and I'm gonna wear one of my wrinkliest shirts for all you folks who love that. Yeah, dude, people can't get past it. Oh, they're so mad. Uh, see you tomorrow, Thursday tomorrow. Wow, crack a beer. We'll see you soon, goodbye. Go buy the stuff off the website. I already signed the video off. No. Like when you're drunk or like you get a euro for dinner and you've been like starving all day, I feel like there's you're never hungry still because there's so much food. So much of it. Dude. That I would I cannot if I had that when I was like drunk and I had no side. I think I'd be like I want more. You really? That's fat of you, See, bro. That's, that's, that's so pretty fat, filling. right? That's yeah. Pretty filling. And I had a burger before this. <laughs> I gotta tell you, you got, you got some life changes you gotta make. <laughs>